Honorable Speaker, farmers are suffering throughout the country. I would like to draw the attention of the government to the terrible plight of farmers in Kerala. It hurts me to inform this House that just yesterday, Enkitan, a farmer in, the Wayanar, in Wayanar, committed suicide due to his crushing debt. In Wayanar alone, bank notices for non-payment of loans has been given to almost 8,000 farmers. They are facing the threat of immediate eviction. Under the Surfrezi Act, their properties are attached against their bank loans. This is resulting in a spate of farmer suicides. In Kerala, 18 farmers have committed suicide since banks began recovery procedures one and a half years ago. The Government of Kerala has announced a moratorium on repayment of farm loans for all Kerala farmers till 31st December 2019. Meanwhile, the Government of India is refusing to direct the RBI to consider this moratorium and get it implemented. Meanwhile, in the last five years, the BJP government gave 4.3 lakh crores in tax concessions and waived 5.5 lakh crores for rich businessmen. Why is this shameful double standard? Why does the government act, why does the government act as if our farmers are inferior to the rich? I was sad to see that no concrete step was taken in this budget to provide relief to farmers. I would like to request the government, the central government, to direct the RBI to consider the moratorium declared by the Kerala government and ensure that the banks don't threaten the farmers with recovery notices. Yes. I would. The Prime Minister also made certain commitments five years ago to the farmers of this country on prices, on farm loans, on other issues. There is a terrible situation of farmers in this country. The Prime Minister has made commitments to these farmers. So I would request the Government of India to fulfill these commitments. Thank you.